news that would be interesting to you it looks like Kanye West is releasing an album um there's some details for a listening party that's happening a oops that's it listening party that's happening in Atlanta somewhere I think um Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta um this happening on the Thursday July 22nd which is awesome I think I think I mentioned it to someone the other day I was like you know Kanye West does a lot of things you know that people might think is fairly questionable but there's one thing that he's definitely world class at it's definitely activations across everything he does from the fashion to the shoes to the music especially his activations are really second to none no one really goes to the levels or the extent that he goes to in terms of releasing music and the way he does maybe with the exception of Tyler the Creator maybe Drake right in terms of really putting money and maybe obviously Kendrick J. Cole does it but only those kind of top top level guys everyone else sort of seems to just do the regular radio interview role roll out with you know maybe teeth and stuff on instagram but in terms of turning it into an overall active experience is awesome and i love how they've kind of flipped the whole listening party listening event thing into a public event and because it was obviously one thing that was generally um sort of the the privilege of people who were kind of in the know right it was kind of like a heads or no thing you go to like a hotel reception somewhere or lounge someone plugs in their phone into an ox and then suddenly you're playing the you know new album in the foyer or flipping ace hotel or something r.i.p shortage right that's what usually the thing happened but now obviously with everyone's attention dwindling and moving around from artist to artist if you're somebody like a Kanye, you need to make a big splash when you're dropping a, an album especially somebody like him who doesn't really do singles you need to make a big splash and get people's attention again because they've generally kind of moved on from you or trying to you know they've gained other they've, they've kind of gone to other things or maybe they've kind of got dissuaded because of some of his political rantings whatnot and there's no better way of doing it than booking out an entire stadium right you would i don't even know who, who backs all this stuff monetarily i'd imagine def jam probably cuts a check but they've decided to rent out the entire mercedes-benz stadium in atlanta for a listening event that's only going to be i guess limited to a small amount of people i guess you to get details to i'm not really sure how it goes along but there's the flyer itself allegedly designed by northwest but now i think it's been cleared up it's designed by a, a very famed acclaimed um female artist called i think louise bourgeois who passed away i think in 2011 or something so i don't know if this was a illustration that kanye bought and then used as a flyer for his album or something that was you know bought privately or something i'm not really too sure what's going on but that's the flyer itself going to release on july 22nd and then we've got info here courtesy of the jasmine brand they said they're hosting a opening party let's skip through it's a private event hosting on july 18th 6 30 to 8 p.m um you've got obviously all the details there some of it um, blanked out for obvious reasons so only the ones that are in the know can go in the track list so far that's already confirmed because i think there's a video of tyler the creator coming up next who's listening to it in the studio but you've got a sort of like is it 10 track one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah like a 10 track album as per usual he likes having 10 or 11 tracks i think that's his sort of like magic number in terms of having a cohesive project for number one track you got here donda remote daylight um i'm not sure what the other one is i think it's foundation or fountain or something we don't have the name for that one yet hurricane no child left behind and you again i know god breathed this breathed on this 24 you're going to be okay and come to life and then the next screen we've got a video here of tyler and kanye in the studio it looks like no sound or anything but supposedly um this is meant to be the album that he's playing for tyler that's meant to be insane so it's going to be a pretty um decent event to basically hear what that has to what he kind of has to bring musically and then you've got this absolute dullard in terms of justin leboy basically um giving more details behind the scenes as to what the album sounds like i don't really read too much into industry scoops in terms of what an album sounds like because for the most part they're all sucking each other's dicks because they want to be on the gifting list or whatnot going forward so he's not going to come out and basically say the album's a bit mid and in general this guy's a bit of a scrub anyway so you know i don't really take what he has to say in any opinion seriously but just to read out the tweets itself it says um kanye played his new album for me and kd last night in vegas man listen the production is light years ahead of its time and the bars sound like he's broken hungry trying to get signed again any artists who, who plan on dropping soon should just push it back hashtag repressively which is really cringe to say he's kind of basically um just kind of uh, playing to the crowd because a lot of people like myself 
Schumacher basically said, you know, Kanye obviously doesn't sound hungry because he's a basically a multi-billionaire. He makes, you know, exceedingly uh, more money doing fashion and designing shoes than he does making music. And of course, he's got the um, creative and artistic freedom to do whatever the fuck he wants when it comes to fashion, more so than he's got to do with music. And in general, he's maybe just lost his ability to maybe synthesize the moment as other people have because he's not really tapped into where he maybe was before. It happens to the best of us. But for the most part, musically, his output has been a bit shit. Um, apart from the project he did with Kid Cudi, everything else has been a bit lame, something I'm not really listening to too tough. I think the best stuff has been obviously the Sunday Service albums. Um, they've been pretty awesome to listen to in terms of just like music um, that you can put on in the background. But in terms of a Kanye West project, I haven't really liked most of the stuff that he's done, you know, post uh trump support um again not the trump thing i don't really give a shit about that game i'm not american i don't really care what his political leanings are and as somebody like myself who's been a fan of the smiths and morrissey i've long kind of moved away from the idea of not being able to separate art and artist and i'm okay with him being a little bit of a um what do you call it a little bit of a contrarian in that respect and just being a bit of a troll and poking at people especially the black community in the usa and kind of calling out their hypocrisy or whatnot or just being a little bit of a coon that some people describe him to be i don't really care about all that stuff but i just think musically in general i think it's clear to see that creatively he's his sort of like energies and his talents have basically been put towards the clothing because there's no way you can say any of his clothing bits have missed everything has kind of been you know 100 and people are basically eagerly anticipating the release of the gap stuff but then when it comes to the music it just hasn't got the same sparkle so you know whatever it may be um the next week says here Kanye West album is really done when it drops this week we probably we're not going to listen to anything else for a while let me go and enjoy all the current artists I'm listening to you until then god bless Ken and the last tweet said Kanye had Kevin Durant a seven feet tall dancing um the album was playing shit was crazy okay I'm really out this time yeah being a lame in it there's something about a man that begs this way right that sucks up to somebody that way that is always going to rub me up the wrong way i don't know if it's just like unnecessary cuck energy or the opposite of being an alpha it's not even an alpha thing it's just more so just being a lame and corny right men shouldn't do this sort of thing men shouldn't be sucking up to another man like this in public it just seems a bit gross don't get me wrong if you're with Kanye in person and he's kind of saying he's a fan of your work and he's you know he's saying things to you that you would never imagine something that Kanye say to you in real life fair enough fan out have a little faint cry to yourself but going on social media and writing these weird soliloquies which are essentially sucking him off it just comes across gross and then if the album doesn't end up sounding like um my beautiful dark twisted fantasy part two everyone's going to be ripping him to pieces anyway so but again he'll probably love this because it's all engagement in it so whatever fuck that guy and move on here um dropping soon more details again the same thing as before and then what's this it's the last one information based upon the album is that the same thing oh same thing yeah same thing but yeah um dropping hopefully on friday it says supposedly that's when it's going to drop when albums usually come out so um it should be interesting to see um what the reception is like again i'm more into this for the music i want kanye to just be able to produce all i want from the guy is just him to drop one more good album i'm not really for this idea that you know i don't really hold artists to their sounds i don't demand things of people i just want them to make good music i don't care about what it sounds like if it's deviated from their first album drop i don't really care it's like dj rascal when he dropped boy in the corner and he subsequent albums were terrible it was less about them not sounding like boy in the corner and more so about them musically just not being good um and obviously now in recent years he's kind of been able to turn in pretty decent albums but now everyone sort of moved on but still if i can get selfishly if i can get one more good album out of kanye i'll be done i'm, I'm perfectly fine with that i don't need anything more from it because again like i said i'm pretty sure it's hard to find inspiration um for so many projects at the same time especially at the level that he's kind of performing at you know when it comes to fashion to footwear um and then doing obviously he's doing building homes and shit and then to do music it just he's spreading himself too thin so it's pretty much diff impossible to do and the evidence is there ever since the easy has gone completely you know pop and this you know taking over things it's no coincidence that his music has kind of suffered and then the moment he linked up with somebody he was able to kind of bounce off of them you look at the Pusha T album you look at the collaborative album with David Cuddy Cuddy that bring out the best in him when he's kind of left his own devices to his own and then he's got spread between different projects in the studio in terms of easy stuff the music quality tends to always dip a bit so let's see man hopefully it's good hopefully it's 
<laughs> not hopefully it's good hopefully it's great good is not good enough for Kanye he needs to have a great album hopefully it's a great album more likely than not there'll be some subs for Drake more likely than not he'll probably throw his um, baby mother Kim Kardashian imagine referring to Kim Kardashian as a baby mother but anyway most probably he'll throw her under the bus so for sure if you're in for the messy stuff you're definitely going to get a dose of that when that ends up dropping there's no denying of that one